How's it going? And welcome to dumbbell routine number four. Before we get started on this routine, what I want you to do is check the description section directly under this video. That's going to help you determine whether you're at a beginning, intermediate, or advanced level of fitness. And it'll also let you know how many reps and sets to do of each exercise, depending on what level you fall under. All right, once you figure that out, let's jump into the exercises. First exercise we're doing today is called the front and side shoulder raise. You're going to need two dumbbells. Start off, arms fully extended down in front. You're going to raise them up, back down, and then out to the side. With this exercise, each rep is after you complete a full one to the front and a full to the side. So up and one, two, and continuing like that for the duration of the set. Next exercise we're going into is called a single leg deadlift. For this one, you're only going to need a single dumbbell. What you're going to want to do is start off balancing on one foot. Put a soft bend in that knee and then make sure you have a tall posture, chest is up, back is flat. Once you're in this position, you're going to drop down using your leg as a counterbalance until you feel a stretch in that hamstring and then bring it straight back up. Down and up. With this exercise, be sure that chest is up and that you're not trying to reach further down simply by bending at the back. Keep that good posture, keep that stable back, and only go as far as that hamstring lets you before you feel that grab. And then the other side, be sure you balance out both legs. With this exercise, you're also welcome to use a wall to help balance yourself if you're having a little stability problem, and that'll help you keep it a little bit more stable while you learn the movement. Next exercise we're gonna do will require both dumbbells again. It's called the squat to press. You're gonna take both dumbbells, rest them up on the shoulders, feet about shoulders width distance apart, and squat down, stand up, and overhead press. Now with this, you wanna be sure you pause after that squat and then press so that you're not continuing the momentum straight up. Otherwise, you're gonna be cheating a little bit. You're not gonna get as much out of the shoulders as you're looking for. So squat it down, pause, and then press. Let's set one of those dumbbells off to the side. Next, we're gonna go into a workout for the rotator cup. Just call it an external rotation movement. You're gonna take a single dumbbell, hold it straight out in front of you, arm bent at 90 degrees. Once you're in this position, take that arm, out to the side, back in front. Out to the side, back in front. And then be sure you switch over and do each arm evenly. Excellent. All right, next we're gonna move into an exercise called a skull crusher. A skull crusher can be done either standing or seated. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat. What you're going to want to do is take the dumbbell and hold it directly over your head. From here, you're going to let it fall behind the head, bending only at the elbows, and then extend it straight back up, down, back up. This is going to isolate the triceps. All right. Next exercise we're going to jump into is also going to require a single dumbbell and it's called the one arm snatch. So you're going to keep it down on the ground and this is a very explosive movement, meaning you're going to want to generate a lot of force on that upward movement. So start down in a squat position, chest up, back nice and flat, grab that dumbbell and using some real explosive force, try and pull that dumbbell all the way up and above your head looking a little something like this. And then bring it back down, reset, and start your next rep. And if you're using a light enough weight, it's actually normal to get a little bit of a jump off of this because you're really being explosive and creating a lot of momentum. It shouldn't be very strenuous at all on the arm. The arm is essentially just continuing the movement created from the legs 
and then catching the weight up in the air. Because that's a more explosive movement, if you do have access to a few heavier dumbbells, I would recommend using something a little bit heavier on that movement, simply because it is such a powerful and explosive movement. Alright, thanks for checking out our video this month. Hope to see you next time.